Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So, Amber Heard. Yes. She hired a brand new PR team, didn't she? Midway through the trial. Not a good look. Actually, looks really, really dumb of her, considering she sacked off the best crisis PR team or PR firm that there is uh, and hired a very interesting individual, very, very interesting individual, who I guess is the perfect fit for Amber Heard. Oh, Amber Heard's new PR guru hired to paint Johnny Depp as an alcohol binging abuser has two DUI arrests, left two jobs after sexual harassment claims, and is known as the walking Me Too case in industry circles. I'd say he's the best fit ever, wouldn't you? <laughs> it's got to be the best fit, surely. That, two peas in a pod. Now, interestingly, this kind of floated around on Twitter uh, several days ago. And, and it's been buried by Google, because I tried to do some background research on this. I couldn't find anything concrete, so that's why I didn't do a video on it. But you would have seen it on Twitter if you've been following the whole Amber Heard, Johnny Depp trial. His website just disappeared. There's nothing on it anymore. And then there was some information where he was, you know, he left a job. It didn't say why, but it implied that he was disgraced. But now we've got even more information, and I'm here for it. I'm absolutely here for it. So Amber Heard hired uh, you know, David Shane last month to help paint a picture of Johnny Depp as an alcohol binging abuser who victimised Heard. Dailymail.com can now reveal that Shane was arrested for DUI arrests in 2010 and 2012 and left previous jobs after sexual harassment claims were made against him. So former Holly, uh, former model, sorry, sorry, Holly Docker 32, who he met on the dating app Raya, claims he tried to pressure her into sex and then got banned from the site. Now again, I couldn't find concrete where this came from. Um, but here we go, more information. So Shane49 allegedly paid provocatively dressed women to attend uh, a tech company event. That's not really a big deal. That doesn't really matter. Uh, he is allegedly nicknamed Hurricane Shane. <laughs> I'm sure that's probably what he wants his name to be. The little manlet. Uh, and the walking Me Too case of the PR world by industry insiders. His ex-colleagues tell DailyMail.com Shane was investigated by HR departments at both Hawley Packard and Juniper, where he, oh, Hewlett Packard, sorry, uh, where he worked as VP of Communications. And they said both cases involved claims of sexual harassment and Shane left companies after HR investigations. Shane's lawyer denies allegations. But interestingly, he ain't there today. I've been scanning but he's not there. He's not in the trial. And he's been there the whole time since he got hired. Bit sus, right? Bit sus. Sam Heard's new spin, spin doctor needs a spin doctor. So these, these kind of claims. One woman claimed um, you know, that he, he, he pressured her. He tried to pressure her in terms of sex. Um, but let, let's dive into it a little bit more, right? Because, you know, let's get into this properly. And whether these are true or they're just allegations or whatever, this is the dude that people thought was a, uh, this is him. People thought he was um, a priest, oddly enough. Um, further could be from the truth here. But according to his former colleagues who spoke to DailyMail.com anonymously for fear of reprisals from the litigious Shane, who was investigated by HR departments of both Hewlett Packard and Juniper, where he worked as VP of communications from 2008 and 2010. Uh, in 2010 to 2012, respectively. Now, the ex-colleague said both cases involved claims of sexual harassment and both were followed by Shane leaving the companies, although it's not clear whether his departure was because of the investigations and Shane denied any complaints had been filed against him. Shane's lawyer told Daily Mail that the allegations were false and a distraction from the Depp-Heard defamation case. There is no distraction from this, so that's complete bollocks. No one's going to be distracted from this situation, are they? Let's be honest. So this is Holly, Do uh, Holly Doker. So court documents exclusively obtained by Daily Mail has revealed that he had two DUI charges, uh, which is important because obviously he's he's doing a job where he's trying to paint Johnny Depp out to be some, you know, binge drinking, you know, woman beater. That's not a good look, is it? If you've got DUIs under your name, uh, and two in two years, it's pretty bad. Like that's that's pretty bad. Like I, you know, if it wasn't patently obvious I love my cars I've never I've never been I've not had anything against my name ever you know you can enjoy these things and not be an absolute scum of the earth dipshit um, and again two DUIs in two years I mean Christ alive what are you doing with your life 
Uh, side note, follow my car channel and vlog channel. It's linked in the description box. The alcohol-related crimes could prove embarrassing for the spin doctor, who's previously highlighted Johnny Depp's prolific uh, spending on wine and has been hired by her to help support her claims of Depp's alcohol-fueled abuse. So it's not a good look. It looks really dumb. But here's the Me Too situations. So this model claimed that Shane tried to force her to give him oral sex after she met him on Raya, uh, a dating app for the rich and famous and well-connected. Uh, Holly Doker, 32, said that in late 2018, Shane took her on two dates, first to Mr. Chow and then to Nobu Sushi in Hollywood, and arranged a driver to pick her up by private limo both times. After the second date, they went back to his West Hollywood condo, and she said he started getting really aggressive, like, come to my bedroom, let's have sex. I'm like, no. I mean, look, just as, just as a word to the wise, ladies and gents, if you're a dude and you want you you know you want to you know wet your whistle, it's probably best not to be like, come to my bedroom, let's have sex. I mean, some women will probably go for that, but you probably want a little bit more of a nuanced approach. All right, like that's quite off putting. Most people would be a bit like, no, you're a bit of a dumbass. So anyway, uh, I even lied to him and told him that was my period because I felt so uncomfortable. He said, I took you on these amazing dates to these really great restaurants, insinuating that I owed it to him. Um, yeah, no, not cool. Uh, at that point, he started getting super aggressive, pushed my head down towards uh, his crotch, and I told him no. I got up, he got angry, and was like, I'll call you an effing Uber. See, that, this this is the Me Too stuff. Like, this is bad, right? Asking someone for sex in a dumb way, not bad. This stuff, grabbing someone, forcefully putting them up to your penis, yeah, pretty bad. Pretty obviously bad. Uh, Doka, who now works in social media marketing, said she complained to Raya after the experience and that the company deleted Shane's account. Raya said it does not comment on specific cases, but added that in the rare instances we receive a report regarding predatory harassing, volatile, uh, or otherwise, you know, inappropriate behavior, we take it seriously and blah, blah, blah. Nerf them, basically. So Shane's lawyer, Rebecca Kaufman, said her client adamantly denies Holly Doker's allegation, which dramatically conflicts with Ms. Doker's original account that she posted over three years ago. Uh, which is true, you've got to keep that into account. Uh, I met this man on a dating app, he took me out two dates and then tried to take complete advantage of me in his condo in West Hollywood, the post says. Uh, he basically insinuated that I owed him for the dates he brought me on uh, when I said no to most of these things he asked me uh, he asked me to do and then he kicked me out. I mean, it's not that different, it's just a bit more information really. I wouldn't say it's that different, let's be honest. Now, in one of the incidents, Shane allegedly, so this is the, this is the firm where he was working at a company. So he's working for these two companies. Shane allegedly used company funds to pay women to improve the gender balance and create a club feel at a 2011 conference event in Hong Kong attended by Al Gore. He thought it was too heavily male and so added some females into the mix. One former Juniper staffer said it was wildly inappropriate. He thought there needed to be women there to sort of create a festive mood with all the guys in the room. It was kind of to give it a more club feeling. Basically, a bunch of models dressed up, you know, with their tits and ass hanging out. They dressed nicely, but provocatively, there were several Australians, a couple of Brits, and they were working the room for sure. The staffer said the conference was sponsored by Wall Street Journal staff. Of course it was. All these people are just in each other's pockets. Um, anyway, Al Gore's people were like, get them away from me. And the source said the alleged incident was not the only one that led to complaints against Shane or the company. He's just one of these people who I think didn't understand the consequences or rules applied to him sometimes. There were a lot of questionable things that he did that made people uncomfortable. Um, and we have this. So these are the, the you know, DUIs. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Especially when you're trying to paint someone out to be an abuser that's drinking all the time. Um, so another Juniper source said that the alleged sexual harassment complaints involved him pushing himself on young women with whom he worked. He would cozy up to and try to separate from the pack a very young, vulnerable member of the external PR firm. Remember, this is all alleged, right? But the, the point is, this doesn't look good because this is who she's hired. Uh, and he's not there today, right? You've got to remember, he's not there. It doesn't look good because he's also not there. <laughs> So it seems something is definitely going on. He nerfed his entire website. It's all disappeared. So there is something going on. This is alleged, but there's definitely something going on here. Uh, the way he would go about it would be really, um, you know, would be to really start complimenting the young hot chick on the account. Then say, hey, can you do this special project for me? Then the sidebar meetings or phone calls, like, hey, I need something really urgently. Can I call you? Then it would devolve into behavior where he'd push himself on the young people. There were young women who were starting out fresh in their career, not knowing how to handle it. 
Uh, so basically, grooming, that's pred predatory grooming. Uh, it was typical textbook grooming, harassment, and taking advantage of younger people who might not know better or are afraid to speak out. So these are companies which he's left. No explanation as to why, but he's left. Uh, and obviously they don't say anything and everyone denies it. So it is what it is. Who knows what this situation is, but the DUIs are pretty bad. They're not good either. Those are something you can't deny. Like, pretty obvious. Um, and then there's more stuff. You know, Hewlett Packard CEO. Um, so they were being investigated by sexual harassment and the former softcore film star Jodie Fisher, who worked as an events hostess for HP, claimed uh, this is the other individual that was working for them. It was, you know, basically been sexual harassment as well not what we need to get into here but basically not good this entire situation looks awful and remember he ain't there so let me know what you think down below cheers guys take care also perhaps consider checking out my teespring store you can find it linked down below in the description box there's some really cool designs there's something that you might like uh, on there and it goes some way to helping the channel out and kind of what I do here and it's a good way to support and rock some one-of-a-kind merchandise designs we've got of course our favorite Jasper on a clown world stuff but then we've also got something a little bit unique uh, the R32 GTR as well as a JDM Pulsar GTIR again stuff for everyone bit of fun please do check it out down below in the description box